Welcome back to my channel, and I have cats! <laughs> this is Yop, the destroyer of worlds, aptly named. And this here is Kimi Chang, also aptly named because she looks like an anime cat. <laughs> Hello, my name is Hilda, and after that interlude, I am properly back without my robes because they were so warm. Okay, so basically, give that to me, Kimi. <laughs> basically, it's soon, and probably on the day I post this, a Gryffindor Pride Day. And as I am a Gryffindor, I figured it would be fun to do a Gryffindor collection video. Um, so let's get into it. Kiwi is watching my, <laughs> my sort of Gryffindor wand, which is super cool and remarkably detailed, like so amazing. I got this for Christmas for my husband and uh, I better give this back because as you can see she's super into wands as well and please don't come at me for letting her play with a wand she just she's really careful they've not actually destroyed a single wand other than a light painter one but that's a different story so let's start with clothing and let's just get the the really weird one out of the way by Gryffindor bra well it's a sports bra house bra kind of thing it's from the Undis Quidditch range and it's super comfortable and it was 5 euros. I mean, who doesn't like a comfortable 5 euro bra if you wear bras? And I'm wearing it. It's like one of my Undis Gryffindor um, British jerseys. And the back print is just the lion with two brooms. And not Peter Battens like I said the other time. Definitely brooms. Um, yeah. I'm not chucking things on the ground, by the way, I have a hamper. <laughs> and then, it's not Christmas, but I wear it whenever I feel like it. Whenever it's cold enough, which is definitely not today. It's my Gryffindor tacky Christmas sweater. I don't think it's tacky, from fun.com. It's got all over print and it's super soft, super comfortable. And actually really good quality because this has been washed many, many times because I wore it a lot when it was colder. This is a lighter sweater, but also super warm. This is the um, Ordinary Owl Dueling Club uh, sweater. And it's got this really neat Dueling Club logo right here in gold. And otherwise it's just a really nice burgundy with cat hair. And I'm blaming her for obvious reasons. And then the last of my apparel, well, if you don't count my robes, is my Gryffindor cardigan. I got this on large.be, which is basically um, EMP, but uh, it's called large in Belgium and the Netherlands for some reason. And it's got a little lion on the back, but it's actually not better quality than Primark because I've already had to mend it twice. <laughs> and I didn't like, Put, some, put it through hard wear. I just wore it, washed it, and then it had holes in it. And of course, you saw those earlier. My robes from fun.com, which are the vintage style Hogwarts robes that you see in the second Fantastic Beast movie. And I really like these and I grabbed them. I don't really wear them very often because I'm, they're super, super warm and I don't really have a lot of need for robes, but I'm glad I have them, especially now with the customs that happened after Brexit. So I, you know, I, I'm glad I got them without having to pay an arm and a leg in customs as well, because let me tell you, I have other robes, but they're not really like apparel. They're more loungewear house robes. They're also from Undis, also from the Quidditch range. They've got like this really big, nice Gryffindor embroidered print, and then the same print that's on my bra and on the back of my Quidditch jersey, also embroidered right here. And I better put this down because I think Yop wants to come and sit on it, and maybe Kiwi wants to move from here to there. I don't know, they're cats. <laughs> Next up is accessories. Um, first of all, I have this one badge and then a bunch of pins which have gotten a little bit flopped about. 
But yeah, I just put them on here because they're a little bit easier to show this way. I don't super collect Gryffindor pins, but I will get one that I like. So yeah. But yeah, I probably have enough of them. And this is my Gryffindor patch. I have a bunch of them, but they're all sewn onto something, whereas this one is still loose. I like them for flat lace as well, so... Well, to come back to the pins. Like, if you get a Gryffindor pin, if you want one, I would advise to look into small shops. Because small shop pins tend to have two pin backs, meaning that if you're going to wear them, you're much less likely to not lose them. To be able to keep them on your clothing or your jacket or... Uh, your backpack or whatever you put them on for like as long as you put them on there whereas the official ones have just one pin post and as you can see like this is a really big heavy pin and it just has the one pin post so it can't even sit straight on a board so if, if it moves I wouldn't trust it to be on my jacket and still be there at the end of the day so there's that now I have what feels like a mass, a mass, a mass, a mass of neckwear. I mean, you can see the whole thing. First up is my kid's scarf. It has, it's a bit more purple than burgundy, and it has a Gryffindor lion on it. It's printed. The color is a bit weird because there's lots of blue involved, but I like this because it's shorter, and as I am not super tall, this is easier for me to wear if I'm if I'm just wearing like a, a shirt or a blouse um, but yeah and this guy is the adult one with the embroidered lion they're both from Cine Replica and I like them both for different reasons so there's that and then I have scarves scarves and more scarves I got this super cute tippet, I think they're called a tippet, but like this vintage style scarf. Um, this goes through, does it go through here or through the other side? Yeah, through here. <laughs> they're actually surprisingly warm for being such a little thing. So there's that, there's like this cute vintage style Gryffindor scarf that I got on Etsy. Um, and I will link the seller in the description if I can still find it. Probably I can. Um, then I have this shorter one and it's also less wide. This is the Cursed Child Gryffindor scarf. They said they would be like burgundy and orange, but when it came it was just the same mustardy yellow that you always see. I don't mind, I still like it. And I like that the stripes are not even, they're not like all even length even with, so that's cool. It's also a bit shorter, so that's nice for when it's not super, super warm. This guy, <laughs> I've knitted myself, and it's, as you can tell, enormous. I wanted it to be like pointed, like my vintage style scarf, and I wanted to add like a color that is still like in the red family, but has a more vintage feel to it. And the reason is because one of our semi-local football teams, KV Mechelen, is also <laughs> red and, and yellow. So I didn't want it to be mistaken for a soccer scarf. And also they're called Kakkers, which is shitters. I have no clue why, but that's apparently the team nickname. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, just no. So I knitted one myself and uh, I used about eight skeins of yarn for it. So... As you can tell, it's like the most ginormous scarf ever, but it's super cozy, super warm, and very, very comfortable. And very good when it's cold. And this one is also very long. Not as long though, but still very long. And this is the Cine Replica one. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there is a lion patch on here. Like mine doesn't have a patch, because why? <laughs> I need my last patch for flat lays. And then there's this one, the reversible one I got at Universal Orlando. It says Gryffindor and a lion on each side in contrasting colors. I like it a lot. It's not super warm, but because it's double layer, it's actually really warm. So there's that. Look, I mean, like, it's starting to be spring, so it's actually too warm to wear those guys, but 
I still have them, so if the weather changes, which it could any moment, because yesterday it was dire and raining, I have scarves. And then my last proper winter scarf is the other Quidditch scarf, which I got at Les Quatre Maisons. I'm not sure if they come in all four houses because I think they only sold the Gryffindor and the Slytherin one and I don't know whether that is because they made them in only two houses or because the other two are out of stock. So I like this one a lot too. I like them also for like if I want to do an outfit but I don't want to wear Harry Potter clothes otherwise and I just want to wear like browns because I, like, my favorite thing to wear is browns. Then Throwing on a Gryffindor scarf makes it very Wizarding World style immediately without having to wear like lots of other Wizarding World clothes. Because now finally, this is like one of those cooling scarves. I got it from Universal Orlando when I placed an order back in, I think it was December, um, before the customs doom happened, but mm, enough about that already. So one side is just these alliance and sort of nearly Christmas trees actually print the crown and other bits and bobs. And then the, like, the other side just says Gryffindor. I've not tried it yet because obviously it's not summer, but if we do get another heat wave, I will let you know whether this is efficient or not. Worth a try, because let me tell you, that was dire. Then. <laughs> And another thing I forgot, this is uh, also from Primark, it's just a double bag. Get one small bag, and we have this frontal thing, and then a larger one. The return of the shoe liners, because it is a Gryffindor haul, so sorry for those who saw my uh, other haul and I've seen them twice. They're a set from Primark. I think it was like, where's the other one? <laughs> three euros for three socks or something like that. Less than five in any case because Primark is cheap. And then here's my other socks from Primark. These were a house set, as in you got all four houses in a set, but I've given all the other three away because I didn't need them and Tiny socks like that don't fit my husband, so he didn't get the real blah ones. These I'm not wearing anymore at the moment either. They're uh, Gryffindor Tech gloves. They're really good. They're quite warm and they're really efficient when it comes to being tech gloves because a lot of tech gloves, when you wash them a few times, they stop working. But these are actually still really good and I've worn them a lot. Then finally, my beanie hat. It's just like a pom-pom hat, it's also from the Cursed Child, Cursed Child range. So uh, yeah, matches my scarf, matches all my other scarves. Um, okay, one more than the other, but yeah, it's just a fun little Gryffindor hat. Fits really well because I don't really have a big head and um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of hats don't stay on well, but this one fits me really well. So be advised, if you have a bigger hat, a hat size than like I would say 65 centimeters. I'm sorry, I don't know what that is in inches. Um, but yeah, if, if you have a bigger size, that might be on the small size for you. But for me, it fits really well because I have like, depending on the hat, uh, 54 to 56. So there you go, it fits me very well. I'm going to try to show this without the Kiwi getting the shit fit. But this is my Gryffindor blankie. It is super, super soft and I got it at Primark for 9 euros, it was the same as my Gryffindor pillow, which is also super soft. This was definitely 9 euros, just so I remember. But basically, I got this, I brought it home, I washed it, and the cats went, mine! And for like a month they had it, it was in the living room, and they slept on it, took turns, fought over it, had a lot of issues. Um, but yeah, so after a month and I went to Primark again, I just got them another blanket and I said like, deal with it and took this back and now I took it downstairs for filming and as you can see, this has happened, so 
I hope I can steal it back from little Miss Kiwi Chan. Ooh, that stink eye. Okay, next up from Home Stuff is this Gryffindor mug, which was 3 euros at Primark, of course. And it's just a regular mug with a lion that says Gryffindor, Determination, Courage and Bravery. They're really nice. I bought the Ravenclaw as well, but now I kind of feel sad that I didn't get the Slytherin, <laughs> Slytherin. The Slytherin and Hufflepuff ones as well. Um, and they don't sell them anymore. They might pop up again, in which case I will get the full set, but if not, well, oh well. And then my other mug, which comes in handy because I am thirsty, is the giant, giant, giant cauldron mug. And it has the Gryffindor lion emblem on one side, and it says Gryffindor on the other. In brass, which makes me happy because brass is the favorite, is my favorite of all metal shades. So yeah, um, this holds 650 milliliters, so a lot. I love it. Um, it is not dishwasher safe, just so you know. Also not microwave safe. It's by... It has a lot of water in it. Uh, I think Half Moon Bay, I can't really tell because all the text has rubbed off. <laughs> Um, definitely not the print, just the text underneath, but yeah, um, be aware though, because these guys, they come in all the houses and then there's a Hogwarts apothecary one, a black one with silver print or grey print, they go for a lot of money right now. I paid about 20 for mine, which is also quite steep, but it's a giant mug and I use it a lot, but now I've seen it go for like 35, which is ridiculous i would not pay that uh, no shade to anyone who does but i'm just saying like if you want it be prepared to pay a lot of money for them because they are not cheap next up headphones these are from the kids department These are my fun Gryffindor string lights. They're just string lights. I don't know how well this will show up, but I use them a lot for flat lays. Well, I haven't in a while, but I do use them for flat lays. They're, well, the thing is the lights and the electricity parts are okay, but the bit that folds over is not the best. Like, as you, as you can see, one has already lost its shield. Well, it's not lost, it's in the box, but it keeps on falling off. So there's that, but they're fun. They're really fun if you just want to put them up. And the, bat the battery lasts for absolute ages. It just takes two AA batteries. So that's all right. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. So that's a fun thing. And then I have this Sorry that it rattles, it has a lot of bracelets inside, so I keep my plastic bangles in it, so that's why it's rattling. Um, the team Quidditch um, lunchbox, property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and it says Gryffindor Quidditch Captain. This guy for sure only came in like Quidditch and a Weasley Wizard Weezes one, which I obviously also got love Weasley Wizard Weezes. I don't particularly collect Gryffindor things, I just sort of accumulated a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, but I do actively collect Weasley Wizard Weezes things. I don't have as many as I have Gryffindor things. And now for stationery, I actually don't have a lot of Gryffindor stationery. I do have the Gryffindor Wax Seal by the Noble Collection which if you're into wax seals or just like this kind of stationary thing I would really recommend because they're really really nice especially the Hogwarts one that is freaking amazing and they come with two um, sealing wax sticks 
which I probably will never use because they have like Gryffindor printed on them and they're really nice and I kind of don't want to break up the set and it also comes in this lovely display box which is why it lives in here and not in the box with all my other seals well there's a few more that you know just the actual seal of this is in the box as well um, but yeah so I also have this Gryffindor stationery kit from I believe Inside Editions ah oh, yeah I totally cheated and looked on the back <laughs> okay. Ah, I am I am fumbling so badly. I don't know if you can see that Kiwi Chan has like literally stuck her face in the in the blanket. She's like, I don't want to get off the blanket, but I also don't want to see you completely guiltily fumble a video. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have this thing, and um, I got it because I originally got the Nude Scamander one. So I figured like, oh well, it's really good quality and the seal in that one is super good quality. The seal in this one is with my others, but it's just like red wooden handle seal and you can barely, barely, barely make out what it stamps. So if you want it for the wax seal, 100% would not recommend also because as you can see, these wax seals do not come with a wick, meaning you have to physically cut them up, which is totally doable and use them with um, at least a burning spoon and a candle and preferably a wax burner which is way safer but yeah they also have uh, a paperweight which obviously I don't use very often because else I, it wouldn't be in here it comes with a really nice notebook I will say like this notebook is fake leather and it's beautiful beautiful just like really nice and I probably will do a flat lay with it at some point it has a Gryffindor inside print and then it's just rule pages there are not any other print on it other than rule pages sometimes you get rule pages with like a little lion print or whatever that's not the case furthermore it has quite a few sheets of letter paper which is also nice it's just like parchmenty print and it has like sort of a watermark Gryffindor print um, just a shield with a lion and you see the same at the top and then a red border which also returns in the envelopes who have a little owl where you should put the stamp which is a bit sad because you know your stamp goes over it so People won't actually get to see that cute little owl, but there you go. Yeah, um, I like it. It's fun, but it's also very gimmicky. And I would advise, like, if you can, digitizing the paper. So when you fuse it all up, you can at least still see it in a digital version. And so my last stationary item is this guy. It's the Gryffindor Journal. The gui uh, guided journal for embracing your inner Gryffindor and it's also by Inside Edition. But you get this for every house. So you can get this in Hufflepuff, in Slytherin, in Ravenclaw. I only have the Gryffindor one because Beth had no interest in the Ravenclaw one and they were around 20 euros I would say, maybe 25, so I didn't really have an interest to collect the entire set. Definitely last in this entire Gryffindor collection chaos <laughs> is my set, it's not the full set because book 7 isn't out yet, but my set of uh, Gryffindor uh, house edition books. And I have the paperbacks which I addressed already, they're not the best paper quality. Um, but yeah, they're nice anyway if you want to collect like a special edition of the books. I still wouldn't advise them for actually reading because they dog ear super quickly. But what you get is you get the Gryffindor lion, like in every front of the book. You also get a portrait of Godric Gryffindor in every book. But what you have different in each book and this this copy is half blood print so the most recent one this one comes with a portrait of Albus Dumbledore but it also comes with a book feature and this is Harry Potter reading 
um, the uh, Quidditch book. I have to cheat. Quidditch Through the Ages. Dang it, that's one of my favorite books and I can't remember the title. But anyway, you have different portraits of different characters. There's one that has a portrait of Hermione, uh, McGonagall, there's a common room drawing. Uh, I don't think there's Ron Weasley. I only just, I literally got them yesterday, so... Well, aside from Order of Phoenix that came last month, but I got the other ones yesterday, so I don't really know who's in what, but... So yeah, all waffling aside, would recommend if you want special editions of the books, because the paperback versions are as expensive as a regular paperback, would not recommend for actual reading, so... Up to you if you want to get them or not, but just putting that out there. And I just realized I forgot three things. Because I have no brain. First of all, this is my, I don't know if you can see it, Gryffindor armor. Um, and I know this looks completely ridiculous, but I'm wearing a sweater, so there you go. It's just regular armor and I do advise you wear this over a sleeve, maybe not a sweater, um, because it's kind of scratchy on the inside and you could wear it over armor padding. And I do have one, but mine goes from here to here. So that looks utterly ridiculous. So I like to wear it over a, a long sleeved shirt because it doesn't look completely fail like it does now, but I'm just trying to show it. So there you go. And this is by Propcorn. They're, um, company in Barcelona, I think. But yeah, popcorn, good stuff. <laughs> Just a little bit scratchy. I think it will be less scratchy the more I wear it, but I don't wear it that often, so there's that. Um, this, I feel like I should be excused because I just got it last Friday. It's just a paddle brush. It's from Primark, it's four euros. I got my husband the Ravenclaw one because his brush is nearly dead. And then I have Believe it or not, another scar! This is the really, really thin Cine Replica one. It's super long. I don't know if you can tell, but I tied it in a bow. So you know it's a long, long scarf. I really like this, but it doesn't live with my other scarves who are stacked. So basically this entire interlude is, a, is, is what happens when your stuff is all over the house. And lastly, but certainly not least, this cute little Quidditch supporter flag my friend Claire made me for my birthday last year. So thank you, Claire. <laughs> I love it. Go team! So yeah, that was my Gryffindor <laughs> collection video uh, featuring my very embarrassed cat, Kiwi Chum, who has still got her face in the in the blanket, not because she's asleep, she's literally going, ah, oh, the shame, the shame of my human. But yeah, I hope. <laughs> Sorry, I have to laugh, I saw my cats run by. But um, anyway, I hope this wasn't too much of a cringe and a fail of a video. If you did like it, please subscribe and give it a like and leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. And I will see you in next one. Bye.